Here's the maths to find the charge of one of these balls. But I've made a common mistake. Can you spot it? Did you spot that I messed up my sine and my cosine? So here, that should have been T cosine 35. And here, that should have been T sine of 35. And you could have used trigonometry to find that out. Or my trick of physics always, if you go through the angle, it's always gonna be cosine. Go against it, it's always sine. So then here, that's not T sine 35 is equal to the downward force of gravity. It's T cosine of 35 is equal to that downward force of gravity. So what tension actually comes out then, when you do this maths, it's gonna come out as 0 0.032. So now I can solve here, again, T cosine 35 is wrong, it's T sine of 35 is going to equal that electrostatic force of attraction between them. So what we get now is that electrostatic force of attraction between them is gonna come out at 0.018. So if I know what the electrostatic force of attraction is between them, I can now solve for what the charge of one of the particles is. So the charge of that particle then comes out at 2.91 times 10 to the negative seven coulombs. So comment below if you got it right.